Okay, it's the Pytendo project. Uh, episode one. Today we're gonna tear it down. Uh, get all the shit out of it. Figure out the layout for the project. And this one was donated to us. We it does it kind of works. So we're just gonna make it work better. Modernize it. Modernize it. There you go. Let's just do a test or something here on a switch. Because the first thing I really wanted to look at was modifying the switch, getting it ready to be wired up to the Pi. So we're going to use the voltmeter here real quick. Okay, uh, what is this? This is reset, this is power, reset, and power. Let's mark that. Make a marker. I believe it's these are I believe these are power and these are the LEDs okay all right take the, uh, take the probes and touch I think it's here and here doesn't matter which way yeah so when I hit this button perfect so that's our that's our circuit for the reset button now let's test here and here. Perfect. Sweet. Uh, okay, so what we're gonna wanna do is attach just some longer wires right here. left-handed <clears throat> because I just put a lot of pressure on that and I heat it up fast So we've got this is just a cable length that we've got to play with. Okay, we could put it down there. Uh, here's the back port. How does this look just for length? Well, if you cut out all these fucking mounting posts, you can set it down in here too. Well, I got, I got six inch cables. So I'm saying. Yeah. All we need for the shell is these points. Yeah. So 
need that. Well, we do want to put the uh, thing in here too, so I think that goes like right here on these four. If we're going to mount it down below like that. This, take the pie out, out of here, put that in, and put, put that in like that. Is that perfect? That does anything for us. And if we put it. Yeah, where the name of the port did. I bet you that would work. It wouldn't work anyways. Not with the lid on it. I think so. Shut the lid off, might work. Oh, that lid, uh, okay. If you were to put it over here, I mean. Side of it tapers down, I don't think it would fit. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's where it sits. I like it like that. The practicality, I think it'll have to be like that. Yeah, the port's facing the back and this out the side. <laughs> I gotta see this shit for myself. Well, if you leave it up like that, without pushing it down. Okay. Uh, we go. Give me another screw. Isn't this fun? <laughs> I don't care if the pie is big. Well, I will care if I have to fix it. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal to it's, get to, though. No, it's really not. We're talking about two screws. Two fucking screws. <laughs> This might work though. Sorry guys, I lost the uh, closeout footage uh, for episode one, so I'm just going to do a quick uh, recap of what we decided to do uh, in the end of that video and the footage we had lost. Uh, we went ahead and got the uh, power reset and LED uh, plate remounted. I've got our extra wire leads, we're going to hook those up later. Um, I did order a part, uh, it's, it plugs, it's part of the power circuit for the Pi, it plugs in right here. Uh, it will allow me to wire in the power switch. I uh, probably don't need the reset switch. I might wire that into the GPIO as a uh, button. I haven't decided yet. I haven't thought that far down. I will be hooking up the LED though. Uh, I've got some extension cables here. Just a simple USB. I would like this to have a USB port on the back as well as HDMI uh, male to female. What we've decided to do with this, 
see if I can get this on camera. We're gonna modify the back plate. I'm gonna reuse this uh, this port right here for the power. Um, I have to go pick some of those up. It'll probably be just a standard 2.5 millimeter, nothing fancy. Uh, the HDMI. I'm gonna modify this port a little bit and get that guy fit in there, nice and tidy. And I'm gonna do the same with the uh, USB. Just modify it a little bit, cut the bottom out, and widen out the edges, and uh, we'll probably epoxy that in there. On the side, for aesthetics, I think what I'm going to do here is just block this off with a uh, gray or black plastic. Maybe do a little bit of fabrication, make, clean it up a little bit. Uh, but that is essentially what we, that is basically what we decided to do. And just again, a recap for the missing footage. Thanks for watching. Come on. <laughs> I really wish I had a 65 watt soldering iron or something. There it goes. There. I had to do that like.